Coca-Cola slide. So she actually presented this uh, to Coca-Cola and then the slides leaked, right? Because people were just up in arms. They're like, this is amazing. And she's not trying to hide any of this. Right. It's just, and what right. John McCord, in his, when his crit critique of this, the de dehumanizing condescension of white fragility, that's what his article was called. And he eviscerated her. Mm -hmm. And he's a black man who believes mm -hmm. that this is the wrong approach. And there's tons of them. Even Imran Zendi actually said that what she was doing was problematic because you can't assert that all white people are racist. He said, because it's categorically false. Well, my problem, Period. my problem is with the approach. And so what, 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 what did she say on that slide? Cause I think there was only one well, thing I agreed with what she said, be, be, can you yeah, just be less defensive? Opinion? Yeah. Be, be less, less defensive. defensive, be less ignorant, be, be less, less ignorant. be more humble, be more humble. Yeah. And, and those are the pieces that I'm like, okay, well, okay. So you can't, you can't say that you can't just come in and say, you know, what does that even mean? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the devil's advocate here. And I'm going to say that those statements are the same statements I feel are made to our black boys and okay. our black girls. I think those statements that she's making to them, I guess, white women, I guess, that, is, that, is she talking to white women or just white people in general? Well, I, to be to you said this before, and, she, and I probably should reiterate this. She actually believes that white progressives are the worst offender of racism because we think we know racism and we don't. And so she points to that. And that's where she gets into the white piece. Be less oppressive, be less arrogant. So she's basically saying not only are white people racists and white supremacists, which again is language that she has to alter, in my opinion. She's saying that white people as a people are arrogant, oppressive, defensive, ignorant, lacking in empathy, and our white solidarity prevents us from actually using any rational logic to apply to a situation. And, and that is where you're getting pushback from the right. And I think that that's, again, the danger of trying to be divisive or clever or cute with your language. And, that, and that's another thing too. I watched early videos of her from 2016. And she seemed much softer in her approach. Her book she wrote in 2018, it was a bestseller. And then after George Floyd, it went crazy, right? It, she just, it just sold another 2 million or whatever it was. And so now she has this, and I can tell you it was an egomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> she's developing that kind of deity swagger, right? Where she's just like, and she walked into, and she walked into the Seattle Library Forum and talked to a bunch of progressives and says, I know all y'all. I know who my audience is here. And then she made a couple jokes and she said, and when she goes, and when you laugh at my jokes, I, I become even more, I become even more, you know, um, combative maybe, probably not the right word, but she, she then gets into this, you are all white supremacists mm -hmm. and you're the worst offender because you're progressive and you think you understand racism. And then the people are like, yay, you know, or snapping or whatever cool progressives do. But I was like, okay, I don't understand that approach because she's getting worse. And it's like we're feeding the maw. So she of, uses the same words, but her mannerisms but her, are softer? In the 2016 video, much softer. Mm -hmm. And the idea was the same. It's like, hey, there's systemic racism in our culture. We need to teach this to people in power. And in this case, DEI Consulting is, is talking to our upper quintile. right? If we're talking to the senior level executives at big corporations, these are the people that have power. These are the people that can actually infiltrate change. They can do things that are necessary based on their, their, their privilege, right? They're in high, high places. They make tons of money. They have some time to actually reflect on these things. But going in there and telling them they're white supremacists is not.